Ladies and gentlemen, please find your seats, be very careful, and get ready for our 2018 Bowie State University's Commencement Ceremony.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, faculty, friends, family, staff, graduates, to Bowie State University's 2018 commencement ceremony. Let's have a round of applause for our graduates and for all of you. BSU 2018 Spring Commencement is about to start.
ladies and gentlemen, it's with great honor to welcome Bowie State University's class of 1968. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bowie State University's faculty. How about a round of applause? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this historical moment. Bowie State University's 2018 Spring Commencement. Let's hear it for all of you, all the family, faculty, and graduates.
Good morning. Good morning. BSU. BSU. President Bro, with your permission, I declare the spring commencement convocation open. President Bro, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, these are our honorees of the hour. Please remain standing and join me in saluting them. Please remain standing for the posting of the colors, singing of the national anthem, and one stanza of lift every voice and sing which will be led by the BSU Mandrigral singers.
At this time, we ask that you remain standing for a moment of silence and reflection. We also ask that you consider the family of Second Lieutenant Richard Collins III as we commemorate the one year anniversary of his untimely death. Thank you. You may be seated. May have quiet at this time. May I have your attention, please? Thank you, Dr. Lewis. As we begin today's ceremony and celebrate our graduates and their educational accomplishments, let us also remember the 10 lives lost at a school shooting another school shooting in Santa Fe. I ask that on this day that you also keep in your hearts and mind the memory of Second Lieutenant Richard Collins III. Please keep his family in your thoughts as they continue to mourn the loss of a son and a brother. When I met the Collins family shortly after joining Bowie State University as its 10th president, I made a promise to the family, to his parents, that we would never forget Richie and all that he stood for and achieved before he was suddenly taken from our Bowie State University family by a senseless act of violence and hatred a year ago. Please, on this day, help me in keeping that promise by letting others know who Lieutenant Richard Collins III was and what he meant to our Bowie State University family. I have come to know him through the stories told by his family and friends. They have shared that he was smart, of great integrity and character, and had a wonderful sense of humor. He was a member of the ROTC Bulldog Battalion at BSU, and he received his commission and was days away from graduation when he was killed. His legacy should serve to spur us all on to do more to make our campus, our community, and our country better. As we continue with our ceremony today, let us remember his memory and what he stood for. Let us honor the young men and women who are seated before us, who were just commissioned this week, who will go out to defend our country. As we continue on with our ceremony, I will leave you with these words of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, who once said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2018 Spring Commencement Convocation of Bowie State University. This is where we will mark the occasion by recognizing the students who have completed their academic requirements for their respective degrees. 
We are indeed pleased that you have come to share in this very special occasion. Class of 2018, you are my first May spring graduating class since I was appointed president. We also present for the first time something else that's new here. To my left, we have a new mace, a mahogany staff top by a brass flame. The four-sided ba base bears medallions of the university seal and images significant in the institution's history. Each name and epic on the university is captured in seven gold plated medals along the staff. This new mace ushers in a new era in the history of Bowie State University. When I arrived on the campus of BSU on May 9, 2017, to be officially introduced as its 10th president, I was welcomed so warmly and right away felt very much at home through the love and respect that the faculty, staff, students, and alumni have for this illustrious institution that is steeped in a rich legacy of opportunity and excellence. I am pleased to say that I now count myself as part of the fabric of this community and was honored to participate in many events over the course of the past year as we, in the title of our vision, Racing to Excellence, have truly raced to excellence, including our freshman convocation, where we welcomed our largest ever incoming freshman class to the two-day spring faculty convocation, where the faculty diligently participated in faculty-facilitated dialogue and workshops to develop strategies that will bring the Racing to Excellence vision to life. Then there was our December and recent spring ROTC commissioning ceremonies, whereby at this last commissioning ceremony, we saw the largest class of ROTC cadets commissioned into military service. There are 11 seated before me. Would you please rise so we may recognize you? Thank you. You may be seated. And then there was our Founders Day celebration where we heard from social activist and son of the late Dick Gregory, Mr. Johanse Machabella, as he challenged us to remember and speak out against injustices in our country today. And that very next day, the university again came together as we celebrated another historic milestone for BSU after a memorable week-long set of inaugural activities culminating in the installation of your 10th president. Words cannot begin to express the depth of my gratitude for the outpouring of support that you have given to my leadership. I especially want to thank each of the shared governance groups that were recognized earlier this year, and I'd like for them to stand at this time. First, the Student Government Association representative, Next, the Graduate Student Association representative, would you please stand? The University Staff Council, and especially the Faculty Senate, please stand so we may recognize you at this time. Thank you to each of you, each of your groups, for helping to bring our campus community together as one community. Would the leadership please now be seated and take with you my hearty thanks for all that you have done this year. Thank you so very much. I have no doubt that as we work together on behalf of our students, BSU will continue to thrive, grow, and prosper. Thank you for contributing to the Race to Excellence vision to ensure that Bowie State University continues to empower a diverse population of students to reach their full potential by providing innovative academic programs and transformation experiences as they prepare for their lifelong learning and civic responsibility. Thank you again. And thank you to our alumni and friends of Bowie State University who have supported this last year through your time, talent, and resources in support of student success, academic excellence, and the viability of the university. 
And now, class of 2018, let me tell you how very, very proud I am of each and every one of you. Today belongs to you. And so in honor of this special occasion, so that everyone might enjoy the event to the fullest, I'm going to ask everyone here as we go through the ceremony, please observe it with solemnity and dignity that is rightfully theirs as they have earned it. Let us respect one another so we may celebrate our 2018 class of graduates. I am pleased now to present to you Senior Class President, Mr. Israel Ibadapo. He will be followed by Graduate Student Association President, Mr. Daquan Landrum, who will also bring greetings. Mr. Ibadapo. Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning to our friends, our families, our guests, and good morning to the Bowie State graduating class of spring 2018. And to my parents, my mommy and daddy who are in the audience, I love you so much. As a matter of fact, everybody just go ahead and say I love you to those who, who are in the audience right now. Go ahead and tell those people who got you in your seat. Tell them that you love them. Yeah, boo. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, they've given me just a couple of minutes to come and greet you all, so I'll try to stand by that. Um, forgive me in advance. <laughs> but I'd like to begin by posing this one question. Isn't God good? Isn't he? And you know what I love most about this day? It's that it's simply a day of celebration. Despite how many times you thought that you weren't going to make it, that you felt like giving up, or how, how you met that deadline even though there was nowhere to park on campus, or even how you invited your friends and your family to the ceremony in faith, even though your graduation status was still pending, today will forever, yeah, I know, Today will forever be symbolic of a milestone that can never be taken away from you. But you know, although you may be sitting in those very seats, you ever just get that feeling of butterflies because you know, right after you walk out of those doors and you see your family, they're all gonna ask that big question. Y'all know what two words I'm talking about now. Go ahead and say it with me, what's next? Come on, let's say it again, what's next, right. So I'm glad you asked. Well, allow me to explain. Class of 2018, I'm proud to announce that I've been offered full admittance to Harvard School of Business on a full ride scholarship. At the same time, I'll be stepping into the role of CEO at Google. Oh, and did I mention that they're paying for me to take two weeks of vacation in Aruba before I start? Yeah, I know, I, I, I got your attention now. Now, of course, that's not actually the case. But it's funny how we live in this society where we expect everything to just happen at the blink of an eye. Why do we always have to know what's next? It's like we're always in a race. Now, who we're racing against? I don't know. But immediately, we hear other people's successes and we begin to compare ourselves as if just because somebody's doing something, that means that we're doing something wrong. But how many of you know that time is so relative? My brother, the former Mr. Bowie State University, Anthony Williams, once said that a degree that took you eight years to obtain is still a degree. And a Mercedes purchased at the age of 65 is still a Mercedes. So who cares if it took you five, six, seven, or eight years to finish your degree, even if you dropped out or had to come back mid-semester? 
I don't care if you finish at eight or, 50, or 58. What's important is that you did it. And I'm serious, y'all. We spend so much time allowing fear and comparison to mentally triple us that we have no idea of the good and perfect plans that lie right before us. Class of, the, class of 2018, I say to you today that my challenge to you is to be the best you that you could ever be. I challenge you to be who you were exactly created to be. The reason why I'm saying that is because there's so much room for all of us at the top. And that's for everybody. I'm going to say that again. It doesn't matter if you are black, if you are white, if you are Asian, whatever ethnicity, there is so much room for all of us at the top. So no more captions and posts talking about, yeah, this is for everybody who said I wouldn't do it, or I'm coming for everything they said that I wouldn't have, because you made the decision to finish your degree. You did it. You're, you finished your degree, and your, de your degree did not finish you. So when they ask you, when are you going to go get that new job, or when are you going back to school, or look at so-and-so, they're doing this, they're doing that, or my personal favorite, when are you going to get married? How many? Yeah, I know. How, how many of you know that the grass will always look greener on the other side? And you know, my biggest testimony of this semester is not even that I have a bomb full-time offer, which I do, and even though, or even though that I'm going to go back and get my MBA, which I will, or not even that I'm wearing my best outfit, yes, this tapping down thus far, because none of these things actually make me successful. My biggest testimony, y'all, is that I truly know Jesus. I truly know Jesus. That's something that no amount of money, no degree, nothing in this world can offer me. And while others are running around trying to figure out what they're doing next, I have so much peace, so much joy, so much love, and I have to go on for days. In the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 8, Paul says it the best. I count all of this worthless, all of this, all of this, I count it all worthless compared to me knowing Jesus. Because for me, true success, that success that we're all longing for, it only comes by my obedience to Christ in all areas of my life. So with that being said, I'll leave you with this. Graduates, you don't have to have all the answers when you know who that answer is. And I know some of y'all will catch that later. But class of 2018, as your senior class president, I commission you to go out and take over the world. One step at a time. I can't wait to see I can't wait to see all of you at the top because there's room for all of us. Thank you. BSU. BSU, President Bro, First Gentleman Bro, members of the cabinet, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, family, and most importantly, the class of 2018. Good morning. My name is Daquan Landrum. I had the pleasure of serving as your 2017 2018 President of the Graduate Student Association. And on behalf of my executive board and the Graduate Student Association, I bring you greetings. Assuming everyone here has been to Bowie State University, or at least have heard about our campus from someone, you understand how important family is to the culture of our university. And when I'm with my family, we enjoy telling stories and reminiscing on times that bring us laughter and joy, but most importantly, times that allow us to do self-reflection. So family, I'm going to tell you a little story. When I first became president of the Graduate Student Association, I was extremely nervous. And you would think I was nervous because it was my job to advocate for almost a thousand graduate students. But no, it was today, May 22nd, 2018. I thought to myself, what do you say to the graduate students who are the first in their family to obtain a college degree?
And what do you say to students who have been educated by some of the world's finest professors? And what do you say to the single mothers and fathers obtaining their degree from college today? And what do you say to the undergraduates who managed to take a full course load and might I add pass just to secure a seat today? And what do you say to my amazing graduate students who managed, <laughs> who managed to balance work, family, school, internship, and still participate in organizations on campus? I salute you. The answer is, you can breathe now. Well, at least for a little bit because I know Bowie State University is not your last stop as you race to excellence. However, take a moment, practice self-care, enjoy life, travel, and spend time with your family and friends. As Alec Weck said, the most beautiful things are not associated with money. They are the memories and moments. If you don't celebrate those, they can pass you by. So congratulations to the class of 2018, you made it. Thank you, Mr. Ibidapo and Mr. Landro for those wonderful, inspiring, motivating remarks. We will now have special recognitions from Attorney Karen Johnson Shahid, Executive Vice President and General Counsel and Chief of Staff to the President. Ms. Shahid. Good morning. Madam President, it gives me great pleasure to recognize the constituencies that are celebrating the Spring 2018 Commencement Convocation with us today. I'd like to first recognize the first gentleman of Bowie State University, the husband of our president, Attorney Melvin Rowe. I'd also like to recognize my colleagues who are members of the president's cabinet, uh, Mr. Michael Atkins, Interim Vice President for Administration and Finance, Dr. Artie Travis, Vice President for Student Affairs. Ms. Yvette Caldwell, Interim Vice President for Institutional Advancement. Mr. E. Wayne Rose, Vice President for Information Technology. Mr. Clyde Dowdy, Jr., the Director of Athletics. Ms. Cassandra Robinson, Director of University Relations and Marketing. Mr. Troy Miller, Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management. If we have with us any members of our Bowie State University Foundation Board or Board of Visitors, would you please stand or wave at this time so we can recognize you? I'd also like to recognize individually the leaders of our shared governance bodies, beginning with Dr. Patricia Westerman, who's Chair of the Faculty Senate. Mr. George Jones, Chair of the Staff Council. And representing the Student Government Association, we have Mr. Bowie State University, Mr. Kyle Jones. And you've, also, you've already heard from the President of the Graduate Student Association, Mr. Daquan Landry. We're grateful to have all of our shared governance leaders with us. We're also pleased to have with us members of the Bowie State University National Alumni Association. If there are any officers of the Bowie State University National Alumni Association, would you please stand? And would all alumni please stand to be recognized? Bowie State University alumni. Outstanding faculty, please stand to be recognized. All faculty. <laughs> Will our dedicated staff please also stand to be recognized? Bowie State University staff.
And lastly, and most importantly, will all the parents, guardians, spouses, grandparents, and significant others of the class of 2018 please stand to be recognized. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Attorney Johnson Shaheed, and all who have come to share with us on this joyous occasion. The University Choir will now present for your hearing enjoyment, Ain't No Winding in the Road, composed by Greg Gilpin with Mariah Smith as soloist under the direction of Dr. Marimal Holmes. Thank you, Dr. Holmes, and thank you, choir. Please give them another round of applause. That was beautiful, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very privileged today to be able to hear from BSU alumna and creator of the iconic Because of Them We Can movement. Ms. Unique Jones Gibson is an award-winning content creator, director, and speaker who develops campaigns that ignite conversation and introspection. In February 2012, following the death of Trayvon Martin, Ms. Gibson created her first photo awareness campaign, I Am Trayvon Martin. In 2013, Ms. Gibson launched Because of Them We Can, an award-winning campaign and movement that helps people reimagine their possibilities. Launched during Black History Month with a mission to empower the next generation to
to honor the legacy of their ancestors, the campaign featured photographs of adorable children channeling leaders, activists, and celebrities, past and present. It has evolved into a positive platform for black excellence that reaches millions of people each month. In 2018, Ms. Gibson, Ms. Gibson launched Dream Village, a co-working space for dreamers that will allow them to build a supportive community in both physical and virtual spaces. The space hopes to bring back the village values that every community needs. The very first Dream Village opened right outside of Washington, D.C. in Hydesville, Maryland in February of this year. A native Marylander, Ms. Gibson received her Bachelor's of Science degree with a concentration in communications from Bowie State University in 2007. We are very proud to have her back at her alma mater. Please join me in a warm welcome for this entrepreneur. Please show her your respect and honor this entrepreneur and trailblazer and agent of social change, Ms. Unique Jones Gibson. I was overwhelmed with emotions when I found out that I was chosen to be this year's commencement speaker. Just the thought of returning to my alma mater to deliver the keynote address 11 years later and to do it in front of some of the same people who supported me during my matriculation, my mom and dad, my sister, my husband who was my boyfriend back then, Yes, family, friends, and two of my sons. Just the thought was overwhelming. Now, after I processed those emotions, I immediately thought back to my graduation day and the message that our speaker delivered to the class. The minutes of reflection turned into hours, and the hours turned into days, until I realized that no matter how hard or how long I tried, even prayed, to recall her words, I could not remember <laughs> anything she said. I don't know if she said good morning, good afternoon, or good luck. And so I have spent the days since the announcement stressed out, coming to terms with what my parents always told me and my sisters growing up. What goes around comes around. And this, I know, is my around moment in more ways than one. To Dr. Bro, the 10th president of Bowie State University and the first woman. To hold the position. Thank you for having me as your first spring commencement speaker. To the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, to the parents and grandparents, aunties and uncles and godparents, all together also known as the family the village, and at times, the bank. <laughs> which, by the way, you all know closes today, right after they hand you your card. And to you, the graduating class of 2018, good morning. When I thought about what I would say today, I considered 
asking Dr. Bro to give me another 10 years to collect a few more thoughts and aha moments. But after meeting with her to talk about commencement and what she is most excited about as president, I knew that I couldn't back out or drop this class. And so here I am, nervous and with sweaty palms, but I came so that I could share a few things with you that I believe are important for you to do, regardless of your major, your career path, your purpose, or your dream. Five things I have learned since I left the yard. The first is take time to celebrate your wins before you rush out to create another one. As momentous as this day is for you, how you treat this experience will set the tone for how you treat others like it in the future. You've thought about, you've dreamt about, and many of you have prayed about this day. Yet, many of you sitting here right now are already consumed thinking and worrying about the days ahead. We've been programmed to go, 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 and go harder, to make lists, to create goals, and to set out to accomplish them. But in our quest, if we aren't careful, it'll become less about the impact or the significance of our work and more about getting it done so that we can check a box and move on. This is not a check the box moment. What's happening right now in this arena represents the culmination of unrelenting determination that spans across multiple years for you to finally sit where you are today. And as tempting as it may be for you to be wondering about what's next, you have to take time to process and to be thankful for what's now. So I'd like to pause and ask you to take a deep breath. And in doing so, take a moment to forget about the pressure to leave out of here, to create another win, another accomplishment, another success, and instead bask in the beauty of this one. The second thing I want to encourage you to do is to fail fast. Yes, you have to take time to celebrate your wins, but you gotta fail fast to get to them. We all know that failure is a precursor to success, but it's also one of those things that we just tend to drag out. But the sooner you fail, the sooner you can learn, make adjustments, and get closer to where and to who you're supposed to be. When I started out as Bowie, I selected accounting as my major because I was told that it was practical and that with it, I'd be able, as my dad would say, to get a good government job. <laughs> Even though that wasn't my dream, it felt safe back then. And so I went for it. But after failing my second or third accounting exam, I knew It just wasn't for me. No matter how hard I studied or tried to get into it, I could not. And so I found myself at that pivotal point we've all been at as students, debating if I would continue down this path, risking my grade point average or 
if I would drop the class altogether. As I contemplated my next move with my marked up exam in hand, I remember seeing a few of my friends filming in front of Bowie Place. I had owned a video camera since I was a kid and so I was immediately intrigued. When they told me that they were filming a movie for class, in less than 24 hours, I not only dropped that accounting course, I dropped the entire major and switched to communications. And it was there, under the mentorship and the tutelage of Dr. O.T., that I found my sweet space and began to thrive. But I had to fail to get there. So fail fast. And don't allow the time invested or the expectations of others to keep you where you know you aren't supposed to be. Which brings me to my third point, family. Commit to the risk. Every day, do something that makes you uncomfortable. Something that requires you to stretch and not shrink. Risk being misunderstood by trying to help someone understand your perspective or a problem that is unique to you or your community. Risk being considered crazy or random by doing the things that make sense to you but may seem unconventional or unpractical to others. Risk being rejected by sharing your gifts and your talents with the world. Risk losing money by taking a chance on an idea that requires you to not only invest your time and your energy, but your coins as well. Risk being disappointed by giving your all to something or to someone you believe in. Five years ago, in February of 2017, after I launched the Because of Them We Can campaign, it had gone viral and I found myself doing an interview on nationally syndicated radio with Tom Joyner. I had originally only planned to run the campaign for Black History Month because I had a good job, a good salary, and good benefits. I remember Tom Joyner saying something along the lines of, you know you have to keep this going, right? And before I could think my way out of it, I said something like, absolutely. <laughs> Knowing that it would require me to quit my good job, which was funny because I didn't talk it over with my husband, hey babe, before I shared that decision with the world. And so when we were talking that night, the conversation went a little like this. Hey, hey, uh, hey babe, hey, how are you? Um, so I'm talking to Tom Joyner today, he's so crazy. Uh, you know what he said? He said I should um, keep the campaign going. And he said, huh, well, what did you say? And I said, <laughs> Uh, uh, um, I said, I would. And without missing a beat, he agreed that it was the right decision and said that it would be riskier not to take the risk. Now, back in 2013, what we viewed as a crazy, crazy risk today, Five years later, 
as we continue to refute stereotypes, uplift excellence, and honor the sacrifices of our ancestors through that platform today, right now, it feels like one of the smartest decisions we ever made. So remember this, class of 2018, it's always a risky move until you prove it to be the right move. And the only way you can do that is if you embrace my fourth point. No matter what, always make excellence your goal. Martin Luther King Jr. put it like this. He said, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. Whatever you've been entrusted with doing, do it to the best of your ability. Whether you're required to make coffee or to lead a project, focus your energy on making sure that you always show up as your best self because excellence is a habit that is perfected when we approach the small tasks in the same way that we approach the big and important ones. And if education is in fact the great equalizer, then excellence is the accelerator. It will propel you ahead of, over, and beyond any obstacle, barrier, or individual whose mediocrity tries to stand in your way. Always make excellence your goal. Lastly, as much as this day is about you and the people who helped you get here, I want you to remember my fifth and my final point, and that is it's bigger than you. When you don't want to get out of bed, or when you feel like eh, it's not a big deal, know that it is, because it's not about you. Someone you don't know is counting on you to become the person you were created to be and to do the work you were created to do. Now, we can all agree that there is so much wrong in the world right now. But in front of me is a sea of hope, full of people with names. Others who aren't in this arena will one day know, because they'll be able to say that it was because of you that they could. So, Strive to see the humanity in everyone. Use your voice and your talents to advance a cause that you believe in. Forgive even in the absence of an apology. And practice being the kind of friend, the kind of community member, the kind of employee or leader, the kind of human that you want others to be. Maya Angelou put it like this. She said, people will forget what you said, Unique. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. I hope 
you leave from here holding on to the same feeling that I felt when I sat in your position. It is the feeling that lets you know that your voice, your light, and your life matters. It is the feeling that lets you know that the world needs what you have to offer. It is the feeling that lets you know that you belong in every room you enter and in every seat you occupy. I hope you feel like you have a responsibility to prove yourself and your village right. Do not waste time or energy trying to prove people who don't matter wrong. <laughs> prove the people who have had your back since day one right because they saw your potential before you saw it for yourself. I hope you feel it because it is a feeling you cannot shake. It is the one that won't go away because it comes from within. Some call it their inner voice, their gut, their heart, or God. No matter how you identify it for yourself, honor and pay attention to it because that feeling is real. More than Siri, Alexa, or Google, it has the answers. And it will always be there to remind you of who you are and why you are here. Before it was the home of Bowie State, before it was booming with innovation, high tech labs, and state of the art equipment, before it housed the MLK building, the CLT, the student center, or the C store, before the band marched the field, and before the Greeks stomped the yard, before it was a safe space for blacks to learn, to grow, and to thrive, it was Jericho Farm. 187 acres of farmland that dates back to 1716. Now in the 1700s, in the 1800s, in the state of Maryland, where there was at one point over 100,000 slaves. Can you, for a moment, think about who might have worked, labored on that land for free. The same ground that slaves walked, worked, and toiled, deprived of the opportunity to even read, is the same ground that you walked with books in your hands in pursuit of a college degree. You, future doctors, lawyers, accountants, entertainers, entrepreneurs, engineers, nurses, teachers, judges, scientists, mathematicians, change agents, graduates, if you were to ask an enslaved black person who lived and who worked on Jericho Farm in the 1800s, what his or her wildest dream was. I guarantee you, class of 2018, it would be you. Can you feel it now? Congratulations on a job well done. Again, a wonderful, rousing round of applause.
to please come forward. We have here a small token of appreciation for that remarkable, remarkable and memorable speech today. Thank you for addressing the class of 2018, coming back to your alma mater and honoring us in such a beautiful way. Yes, we will remember on whose shoulders we stand. Yes. Thank you so very much, and please accept this plaque Thank on you. behalf of the class of 2018. Magnificent. Thank you again. That was just wonderful. We will now hear from the University Concert Band, who will perform for our listening pleasure, Freedom Quest by Tracy O. Berman.
Thank you, Dr. Wright. Please give a round of applause for all of our student musicians and our alumni who are here today. Well done. We will now have our mace bearer come forward, Dr. Lewis. Madam President, the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs will present the candidates for the conferring of degrees. BSU, BSU. Madam President, I'm delighted to present to you today 744 graduates. This includes 193 graduate students and, and 551 undergraduate students. Would the candidates for the degree Doctor of Science in Computer Science please rise? <laughs> Madam President, these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Science in Computer Science are recommended by the faculty for admittance into the community of scholars through the conferring of the degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Maryland and the University System of Maryland, I do hereby confer upon you individually the degree Doctor of Science in Computer Science with rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. You may now proceed to the stage with your faculty escort to be vested with the hood appropriate to this degree. Abdul Rahman Alatawi, a probabilistic based approach for expanding abbreviations in source code.
will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership please rise. Madam President, these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership are recommended by the faculty for admittance into the community of scholars to the conferring of the degree. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Maryland and the University System of Maryland, I do hereby confer upon you individually the degree Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership with rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. You may now proceed to the stage with your faculty escort to be vested with the hood appropriate to this degree. Donna Lavelle Bradshaw Polite, Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership. First year college students' perception of college readiness based upon high school experience. Ladina Bombre. The perceived science self-efficacy of elementary and middle school science teachers, how teachers view science and its impact on their instructional practice. Keith Randall Hicks, an evaluation of the use of discrete trials teaching to students diagnosed with autism. Deborah J. Holmes, Servant Instructional Leaders Impact on Reading Literacy in Two Urban Middle Charter Schools. Will the candidates for master's degree please rise? <laughs> Madam President, may I present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Business Administration, Master of Public Administration, Master of Science, and Master of Science in Nursing. Madam President, these candidates have been certified by the faculty as having completed all requirements for the degree of Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Business Administration, Master of Public Administration, Master of Science, or Master of Science in Nursing, and are recommended for admittance with specification according to the degree in which they have qualified. Upon recommendation, of the faculty by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Maryland and the University System of Maryland, I do hereby confer upon you individually the degree Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, 
Master of Education, Master of Business Administration, Master of Public Administration, Master of Science or Master of Science in Nursing with the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining and cause you to be vested with the hood appropriate to this degree. Graduates, turn. Pass. Hood. Tongue. Madam President, graduates receiving master's degrees are prepared to receive their diplomas. Graduates, please advance to the stage as your names are called. Rehima Wanjiku Kariri. Michael Pierre Cook. Tadeja Alexandra Lake. Ashley Danielle Nelson. Kia Elise Randall. Dominique Takia Chesley. Tiana Nicole McCombs. Shante Monique Henderson. Mary Ann Pierce. Allison Maddox. Hajafatmata Binta Ba. Irene Chidiebere Ndukwe. Jane Igalo Idoro. Nkechi Oke. Rukiet Afini. Lawrence Okoji. Jermaine Digomo Angu. Gideon Longchi. Juliet Adaku Oyeba. Oluwakemi Rachel Oluwuyi. Alua Miduka Odeonian Dokum. Alison Michelle Bethe. 
Stephen Lamar Patterson. Monte S. Green. Ajane Miller. Kiera Sedwick. Folarin Samuel Ladipo. Augusta Kumba Jallo. Ashley Patricia Simmons. Danielle Isaiah Jones. <laughs> Jasmine Simone Lilly. Deliora Benedict Ara. Robert Allen Winter. Kimberly sure Clark. Delonte, I will. Alfred Delonte Anthony. Ashley Benita Davis. Tylesha Lenis Miller. Latambia Deshante Lewis. Okay. Latasia Shante Keys. Lindsay Nicole Henderson. Tawanda Lynette Hooker. Ann Ibojaye. Deborah Crystal Johnson. Vernon Lee DeShields, the second. Ashley Janelle Buss. Bussy. Markeisha Marie Fontroy. Kaylee Kalia Aaron. Keyshawn Antonio Walker. Marcus John Williams. Gloria Obiajulu. Brianna Elise Mathis. Sally Oyang. Daquan Rahim Landrum. Cherike Russell. Lamara Johnson. Rhonda Hackley. Lanika DeShields. Bronte Nicole Vaughn. Pierre Bachelor de Rebo. Amanda Marie Fleming. Latoya Dominica Graham. Ashley Monique Jordan. <laughs> Ashley Jeanette Bordonero. Nain Hadia to Barry. Kiana Loreva Wright. Anita. <laughs> Anita LaShawn Hensley. Kavina Janea Richardson. Melanie Joanne West. Anika Tashe Adams. Maurice Rudolph Harmon. Roxana Yvette Ferrofino. Kelly Carter. Sierra Adams. Erica Brittany Gorm. Sonia Chachwan. Brianna Antoinette Barnett. Ashley Marie Skipper. Morgan Monet Mason. Christina Jean Williams. Aliyah Fatma Epps. Laura Wakwafa. Bendu Benge. Celestine Ojiri Naka. Marianne Cynthia Buedu Lania. 
Clementina Nuwandu. Jessica Mary Anderson. Christina Annette Green. Shanice Nikia Gadson. Crystal Abono. Shireen DeCesso. Angela Jeanette Scales. Travis Deron Ivy. <laughs> Motaz Abdulaharam Faram. <laughs> Leonard Monene Morambi. <laughs> Richard Opeanimi Onatuji. Stanislaus Unaka. Roderick Smith. Jill. Oh. Jody Gill. Cherno Jallo. Janelle Eichler. Palavi Ganti. George Chukuka Ono. Iyuche Velda Ijoma. Ijeoma Agasta Iwu. Ekene Franklin Ibe. Nagasai Mahesh Chimalapati. Tahib Kadiri. Saud Al Shamari. Saud Garib Al Shamari. Saud Garib Al Shamari. Esther Omolola Atalani. Oluole Joseph Bankole. Oluwafemi Enitan Lande. Nihal Abdulaziz Asuhel. Zainab Nasir Al Mutawa. Zainab Nasir Al Mutawa. Tamideo Makinde. Gregory Titus Henderson. Jade Lee David. <laughs> Jasmine Ashley Renee Wright. Taylor Nicole Walls. Rachel Marie Jamal. Kidriana Moore. Dana Antoinette Dennis Brown. Shana LaFleur. Tenen Ajoavi Maglo. Patience Ajayi. Marianne Emmanuel Etukudo. Jacqueline Manu. Loban. Loban. Alexandra Marie Loban. Uchechi Leonard. Aburam. Maxwell Aburam. Jonathan Kareem Fula. Jatea Tiara Richardson. Sydney Nicole Williams. Malcolm Ehi Ehioba. Cynthia Jacqueline Solis. Jason Anson. Leah Elizabeth Hubbard. Jessica Joe Jefferson. Raju Ponalala. Ranjit. Karangula. And Bagoli Colcrick. Abigail Oluwashan Ibitoye. Jennifer Michelle Williams. Command. Romel Command Short. Mercedes Triplet. Ademola Ageguki. Mohammed Mufara Alashkaki. We
Will the candidates for the bachelor degrees please rise? May I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Madam President, these candidates have been certified by the faculty as having completed all requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science and are recommended for admittance with specification according to the department in which they have qualified. Upon recommendation of the faculty by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Maryland and University System of Maryland, I do hereby confer upon you individually the degree Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science with the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining and cause you to be vested with the hood appropriate to this degree. Graduates, turn. Pass. Hood. Turn. Graduates, reverse your tassel. Please be seated. Please be seated. Thank you. Madam President, the deans of the academic colleges in which they qualify will present the candidates for diplomas. Will the graduates in the College of Arts and Sciences please rise? <laughs> Madam President, the graduates in the College of Arts and Sciences are prepared to receive their diplomas. Graduates, please advance to the stage as your names are called. Diego Bacos.
Monique Rochelle Sims. Ume we fume leo ade nuba. Mia Desiree Fullwood. Sophia Imani Muslim. Jasmine Nicole Lee. Winifred Nagiche Okuchi. Whitney C. Okuchi. Chiamaka Norm. Eric Michael Wright Mosby. Christian Bonaparte. Anose Ogembi DK. Shannon Elicia Garrett. Trevor Allen. Tiffany Nicole Gardner. Philip Joseph Smith. Devon Xavier Boone. Arnasia Zanette McCauley. Talea Tonsto. Daryl Cornelius Kinsey Jr. Brendan Gregory Lynn. Delon Sellers. Candace Lynette Birch. Shelby Devon Egerton. Jacqueline Chapman. Krista Nicole Wood. Micaiah Lola Tamar Smith. Shamiana Melinda Singh. Christina L. Yates. Dominique Tony Ross. Koya Anye Johnson. Brianna Harris. Shakia Cornelia Campbell. Shannon Green. Nia Francis Nellums. Gabrielle Carolina Lemon. Bria Nicole Gilbert. Dana Alexa Coley. Tara A. Moore. Naomi Maria McElwin. Octavia Luanes Morton. Brianna Nicole Gilbert. Ashley Ure Agwu. Amaya Danielle Holly. Shilu Matthews. Francis Morris Ford Jr. Cache Lashia Jackson. Michela Sanders. Brianna Patricia Moje. DeAndre Kishan Woodland. Mia Simone Ball. Angel Tillery. Vera Helena Popley. Taylor Brianna Washington. Jumari Wilsmine Spencer. Nima Rowe. Shayla Larice Hackett. Raven Tempra Evans. Chanel Nicole Trent. George Say Kata. Ahmad Wilson. Deshaun William Wells. Ty Malik Marshall. Enuma Ijoma Ebenum. Jemuel Caleb Brown. Jeffrey Andre Mason. Jonathan Mason. 
Maureen Canaro Katubu. Tatiana Iman Short. Kevin Abra Bidiaco. Chad Edison Philp. Marcus Tyree Jordan. Dimitri Jelante Butler. Adefimi Eric Aduoro Jr. Sean Moses. Hey. Kayla Charisma Stewart. Mia Lachelle Hollins. Ashley Nicole Jennings. Asiana Robinson. Yasin Gay. Jesuye Timothy David. Edwin Chukameka Onue. Ryan Andrew Washington. Christopher Andrew Stone. Marquise Lawson. David Thomas Proctor. Byron Lewis. Ahmad Alwes. Tierra Menace. Morgan Savoy. Brian Barber. Tone Hinton. Skyler Childs. Emmanuel Chidabim Ara. Ipa Yusongo. Baraka Catherine. Darren, oh, I'm sorry. Darren Bruce Reeves. Calvin Todd Kennedy. Simone Trené Bayer. Jennifer Okayaki Asimboy. Kevin Ajin Darko. David Daniels. Oluwase Fume Abiganigo. Kwame Apiluje Opoko. Keandre Carter Lassane. Jordan Haythorn. Uchana Nakanka. Andrea Cassandra King. Alexis Renee Punel. Gabrielle Grant. Stephanie Rachel Jagobin. Gregory Davis. Kenya Brianna Lee. Shaylin Elise Little. Danielle Nicole Dyson. Kanata McKinney. Francesca Louise Rendo. Rebecca Amelsa Johans. Monet Thompson. Sarah Flory Fernandez. Eve Sanada Bamba. Sydney Danielle Gaynus. Rupert Nico Gillen. Alondra Sharice Brown Cox. Savannah Alexandra Kinlock. Jayla Gaines. Tahira. Johnson. Jalen Austin Morgan. Kimberly Wonderful McLeod.
Tyler Alexa Ray Garth. Breon Meeks. Taniqua Ann Walker. Leah Anita Robinson. Imani Pittman. Paige Marla Tony. Raya Monique Cobb. Therese Buford. Lystra Edwards. Maria Mogale. Angel Benson. Douglas Jerome Gilmore. Myron Johnny Jackson. Jordan DeAndre Chase. Joseph Cheek. Lamar Montgomery. Anthony Williams. Nicholas Tucker. Tanita DeLois Baker. Wednesday Ayele Jack. Ishuman Michelle Aladdin. Ashley Danielle Wilson. Tiara Ladeja Hunter. Kaya M. Proctor. Oh, that was easy. Carlene Nadine Joseph. Kia Lene Isom. Kalisha Perry. Samto Kosi Indobisi. William Ernest Sykes. Kamal Akil Clark. Brianna Nalia Walls. Robert James Matthews. Donnie Ray Green, Jr. Saibo Dinka. Jasmine Rochelle Kelly. Ashley Nicole Skipper. Amanji Gaito. Rudolph Saunders III. Deanna Hill. Francis Marita Reeves. Courtney Darnell Fullward. Abdul Mansare Jr. Deja Shaley. Diana Stephanie Diaz. Oniani Constance Irabatu. Christopher Dante Manning. Lindsay Dana Hicks. Tierica May Phelps. Ajelove Jabria Powell. Michael William Lewis. Janelle Clifford Good. Brittany Ann Pollard. Dandora Silla. Tasneem Rayan Muhammad. Amita Anderson. James Norman Waters, the second. 
Blake Rashid Shepard. Jasmine Kiana Rivers. Nanel V. Denton. Willie Arthur Taylor, Jr. Ashley Okoro. Stanley DJ Wright. Will the graduates in the College of Business please rise? <laughs> Madam President, graduates in the College of Business are prepared to receive their diplomas. Graduates, please advance to the stage as your names are called. And Dale Hassam Ragsdale. Oliani Mendez. Michaela Yvette Walker. Sharnice Brooks. Michaela Thomas. Michaela Thomas. Michaela Thomas. Brandy Danielle McLean. Karel Atande. Tamiara Parson. Carlos Carl Colvin. Dominique Michelle Hodge. Gianna Briette Goodall. Stephanie Nickerson. Erica Diane Poe. Zachary Brian Bartlett. Yambaso Brewa. William Bates Jr. Raphael Francesco Metcalf. Yeah. Julian Keon Thompson. Ernest Galloway. Christopher Matthew Gray. Brandon Jacobs. James Higgin Wiggins, Jr. Rama Suleiman Kova. Brittany Serena Miller. William Idris Pugum. Oh, 
Nicolina Afua Akiampong. Angela Marie Blaylock. Alethea Grooms. Charnell Diamond Ferguson. Ebony Latrice Bowman. Sheldon Brittnall Bolin. Rodney Marion Banks. Brianna Amani Bradshaw. Jermaine Michael Falk. Chinadu Ijama. Christopher Pride. Stephen Courtley Hope. Anthony Olua de Malola Coker. Jacqueline Marie Pickering. Lisa Jing. Yeah! Kiera Colston. DeAndre. DeAndre Watson. Sierra Janae Gladney. Adriana Angelica Lazo. Adriana Angelica Lazo. Drayon Samian. Shamir. Shamir Ross. Lachey Jean Francois. Winston Roberts. Vince Salangost Lau. Mamadou Ba. Mamadou Ba. Raphael Edmund Hughes. Chanel. Yeah, Chanel. Chanel Iman Moore. Michael Anthony Turner Jr. Abdallah Mohammed Al Turki. Stefan Venance Gobi. Enoch. Enoch Benjamin Price. Marquise Elijah Dyer. Kenyon. Kenyon Rashad Sellers. Is that it? Will the graduates of the College of Education please stand? <laughs> Madam President, the graduates of the College of Education are prepared to receive their diplomas. Graduates, please advance to the stage as your names are called. Lamar Moon, Brandon McKay Davis, Rebecca Joanne Deppenbaugh, Michonne Janae Cosby, Kylie Brian Fleet, Jade Miranda Reed, Jamila Cisse. Angelique Joyce Mosley. Megan Christine Windsor. Ashley Danielle Chu.
Emily Ann Lewis. <laughs> Haley Alexandria Betke. Fatin Safian Askar. Jasmine Marie McKenzie. Antonia Brianna Gibbs. Christopher Tyler Bauer. Charles J.J. Mew, Jr. Brendale. William Brendale Drew. Britton C. Savoy. Keenan Devonte Rashawn Chapman. Zachary Eugene Johnson. Will the graduates of the College of Professional Studies please rise? <laughs> the graduates of the College of Professional Studies are prepared to receive their diplomas. Graduates, please advance to the stage as your names are called. Olasade Olupitan. Willie Lackey the fourth. Roberto Gurala. Floyd Kenneth Eller the third. Vernon Leon Dallas Jr. Stephen K. Bradley. Daisha Morgan. Samantha Ann Lucky. Brianna Allison Maydus. Sanaya A. Whittington. Gardine Cadet. Ashley Marie Arnold. China. China Robertson. Tony Tyshawn Seguera. Khalil, Khalil Tashawn Neal. Georgery Muma. Amarachi Ngozi Wogu. Aisha Kanu. Genesis Michael. Genesis Michael Parker. Selena Demita Price. Roslyn Fortabong. Simon Fortabong. Joshua Isaiah Johnson. Giselle Fubiamba Mabiemba. Mienda. Pelatian Joang Fonba. Ogali Marian Otiede. Florence Tentuchana. Diamond Jabara Cassidy. Zoquin Adana Abengoy. Aliyah Danielle Barnes. Tiffany Lynn Foote. Chantel Diane Farlow. Ebony Nicole Carson. <laughs> Bianca Savannah Phillips. Layla Samaya Douglas. 
Zanab Ba. Let me hear your name. Let me hear your name. Anna Rose Chamboa Tita. Edith Asosa Akanji. Shamika Antoinette Gibbs. Sadia Nix. Mame Equia Arthur. Tamara Monique Guerin. Lillian Andrea Garcia Herrera. Lenora Barbara Garvey. Trayvon Dixon. Steven Alfredo Reyes. Denzel, Denzel Gregory Newkirk. Shannon D. Dotson. Troy Anthony Jones. Tyrone Jones. Kayla McLaughlin. Kayla Alexandra McLaughlin. Janelle Chantal Crawford. Tyler Nicole Lassane. Deja Dare Brown. Jocelyn Zoe Edwards. Sashay Lania Phillips. Talisa Morell. Tori Tavan Green. Denise Schott. Alicia Monique Mills. Blair. Blair William Rutledge. Henry Ajayi. Uniqua Nashe Wood. <laughs> Daniqua Shade Taylor. <laughs> Tiffany Wilson. Ebony Oasis Sanders. Jamia, Jamia. Jamia Alexis Kent. Brian T. Weathers. Tia Marie Williams. Valerie C. Taylor. Nadia Nix Mohammed. Ramira Rochette Gardner. Courtney Maria Rowe. Whitney Elise Blakely. Tylene Nicole Cockrell. Andrea Maria Green. Samaya Najaya Thompson. Jana Nash. Janae Douglas. Pamela Princetta Davis. William Cousins Jr. Asia Brianna Toon. James O'Neill Brandon II. Mit Melvin Anthony Rawls II. Vidal. Oh. Vidal Adams II. Dejon Dejan Erica Rice. Morgan Tinsley. Ebony Unique Golden. Iman Harrison. Vantina? Erica Vantina Sanford. Bronette Suku. Mariama Karoma. 
Dominic Michael Pitts. Tanae Maya Dickens. Kathy Maciel Hernandez. Nabila Hijazi. Oyechi Modesta Iyama. Keisha Monet Parker. Monique Rihanna Pugh. Markel Rashard Jenkins. Squire James Newsom the fourth. Elizabeth Francois. Sheldon Michael Horsford. Abraham Kalu Kamara. Guy Holmes. Amory Sanasi Durami. Paris Ray Clifton. Isaiah Israel Abraham the second. <laughs> Tanae Ajay Belt. Kayla Renee Barnes. Jessica Sewell. Leah Catherine Turner. Selena Celeste Mitchell. Erica Marie Everett. <laughs> Nia Soleil Garna Lowry. Nicolette Noel Wilson. Miyoshi Levy. Taylor Elizabeth Washington. Dejani Jackson. Dejane Unique Holloway. Shania Haskins. Tabitha E. Laws. Brianna Nicole Page. Brianna Sadler. Carolyn Monet Caldwell. Jasmine S. Stroman. Deja Imani Frazier. <laughs> Imani Elena Rose. Malika Carmel Butler. Kiana Sharishma Stewart. Deja Jude Mack. Crystal Denise Dukes. TR okay. TR Victoria Waters. Jonelle Chaplin. Justice Nicole Chaplin. Sasha Dolores Eubanks. Tanji Lachey Logan. Lauren Nicole Bundy. Kevin J. Johnson. Adora E. E. Gems. Jasmine Lachey Hodges. Tatiana Jari Centrum. Elton Harrison Jr. Sabrina Murat. Destiny Yvette Crockett. Brenda Marie Halsey. Cheyenne Kirsten Jackson. Victoria Doggett. Deanna Liada Denson. 
Troy Christina Darrington. Lolita Renee Osborne. Nicolene Lehina Ochala. Team Brian Nicole Brown. Janelle Brianna Mathis. Destiny Brianna Carrington. Jacia Danae Goins. Michael Anthony Ime Inyang. Shadeja Kimani Hendrick. Tracy Lovely Jerome. Alicia Nicosi Clement. Jewel Yuna Cato. Sandy R. Leg. Dion Dominic Johnson. Brittany Charmaine Ganey. Erica Pitts. Tiffany Nichelle Barber Alexander. Veronica Lee Robinson. Anaya Damir Gross. Makara Alicia Simone Pollard. Branton Corell Bickham. Kinu Shandria Alexis Benson. Kiera Shavanda Hooker. Christina Carey Goss. Kadith and Maureen Whalen. Stella P. Luanga. Gwendolyn Nicole Ingram. Charity C. Okori. Charles Isbez Mako. Valentine Abel? Yes. Or Abel? Abel. Okay. Izuchuku Valentine Abel. Gladys Sophia de Leon. Nafisatu Salami. Queen and Do. Brinell Tobes Lorente. Josiah Daniel Rubio Lazaro. Nene Shizam Onuebu. Rugietu Jello. Ethel Kasuku Okonjo. Alemewu Atembe. Jessica Patricia Alvarez. Nancy D. Carbello. Danisa Maria. Danisa Maria Vargas Vasquez. Shannon Nicole Weaver. Markevius Deontay Thomas. Sean Gabrielle Tolson Lewis. Shantice Nicole Butler. Bria Brown. Aaron David Powell. Brianna Simone Pollard. Claude James Clark. Francesca Marie Brown. Kiara Nicole Mayo. Olufuke Adelonke Falade. Justin Nathaniel Nestor. 
Darius Lorenzo Johnson. Nicole Anita Green. Leticia Preston. Ashley Nicole Nadaye. Vanity C. Dawson. Etandra Siobhan Willis. Brittany A. Thomas. Ebenezer Oluranti Abiona. Jordan Rebecca Banks. Casey Jane Dooley. Morgan Nashe Hall. Ashley Katrina James. Fatima Umalin Berry. Jamie Ajay Myers. Marcia C. Miller. Chibu Irene Jabwa. Amubasola Agebade. Miata Sana. Candle C. Pope. Gina Elaine Perry. August D.D. Colbert. Evelyn Erelume Asegeme. Maata A. Wilson. Chekube Chuku Maduka. Olumi Juwan Israel Ibidabo. Congratulations, graduates! <laughs> Provost Amusu will now recognize our commissioned officers and senior honor graduates. Thank you. We are proud of the sacrifices made by our service men and women, and we know that the Bowie State University ROTC has been instrumental in producing leaders in all branches of the military. On Wednesday, May 16, 2018, the following received commissioning. Second Lieutenant Diego Bakers, Second Lieutenant Stephen Bradley, Second Lieutenant Michael Cook, Second Lieutenant Vernon Dallas, Second Lieutenant Floyd Eller, Second Lieutenant Roberto Gorolo, Second Lieutenant Reima Carrero, Second Lieutenant Dwarf Kuhn, Second Lieutenant Willie Lakey, Second Lieutenant Polasade Oru Pitan, Second Lieutenant Indio Ragdell. Congratulations on the job well done. We thank you. We, we know that you will serve with honors. Thank you.
Now I would like to uh, recognize our graduates with honor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present the honor graduate for the class of 2018. The names of these graduate appear in the program. Will those graduate listed in the program under academic recognition please stand? We, we have a total 17 summa cum laude, 32 magna cum laude, 41 cum laude, and 10 academic recognitions. These graduates are persons who have transferred to Bowie State University and have earned 30 to 59 credit with a GPA of 3.5 to 4.0. Please be seated. The graduate listed in the program under Latin honors have earned 60 or more credit at Bowie State University while maintaining a grade point average of 3.5 to 4.0. Will those graduates listed as cum laude please stand? These graduates have grade point average between 3.5 and 3.64. Please be seated. Thank you. Will those graduates listed as magna cum laude please stand? These graduates have cumulative GPA averages between 3.65 and 3.84. Congratulations. Please be seated. Thank you. Will those graduate listed as summa cum laude please stand? These graduates are graduating with the highest honor and have averaged GPA between 3.85 and 4.0. Congratulations. Please be seated. Now, will the following graduate please stand and I'm going to name them. Second Lieutenant Diego Bacus, Emily Ann Lewis, Viera Elena Fafi. These graduates have completed their degree with a perfect GPA of 4.0. Let's give them a well, well deserve a round of applause. Congratulations. Please be seated. Well, let's give all of our honors graduates a well-deserved round of applause. Thank you. Congratulations, all of our honorees, and congratulations to the class of 2018. It is indeed my honor to address you as the newest alumni of Bowie State University. Congratulations to the families, spouses, significant others, friends, those here, as well as those unable to be with us today, but are wishing you well on your achievement. Let us also remember those who have passed on, who guided our footsteps, allowing us to be here today. Let us remember them all at this time and thank you. 
Graduates, show your appreciation for your family and friends with a rousing round of applause. Graduates, as you journey forward beyond Bowie State University in beautiful Prince George's County, I give you these four charges. One, remember your history. Two, remember your purpose. Three, remember that BSU is your alma mater. And four, continually strive toward excellence. First, remember your history at the core of Bowie State University and our mission is access and affordability to a quality education. BSU, as the first historically black institution of higher education in the state of Maryland, was founded for those who were disenfranchised and prevented from entering higher education in this country. Graduates never forget that history and the value that the students at that time in the 1800s saw in securing a pathway to higher education. Secondly, remember your purpose. Graduates, I want for you that wonderful feeling of reward. When you have found your true sense of purpose, I ask you on this day, as you are going into the world with new knowledge and skills, for what purpose, for what purpose, Will you use the new knowledge and learning opportunities you were afforded to serve your communities and the betterment of all humankind? For that is the true value of higher learning. The outstanding faculty and the fullness of your college educational experiences at BSU have prepared you well. Believe that you have much to offer to compete and to achieve great things. You have unique talents, skills, and abilities to offer to the workplace, to your community, and to each other. It was Nelson Mandela who once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Next, remember your alma mater. Graduates, BSU is home. It is home for you. As you reflect on your time at BSU, remember the places the things you learn. And remember the faculty and staff who help guide your way along this educational journey. Graduates, as life presents challenges, as it certainly will, return to your alma mater to remind yourself of the lessons you received here and the values we share as one community. Those values are excellence, civility, integrity, diversity, and accountability. These are the Bowie State University core values. And graduates, should you get lost on your journey, remember your alma mater and the image of that eternal flame, the flame of faith and the torch of truth to light your way home. As you leave us, remember those coming behind you and give of your time your talent and resources to ensure future generations will have the benefit of higher education. Graduates, you are my first May graduating class, and I plan to be around a lot longer. And so I, along with your faculty and staff, look forward to having you return to share your new experiences with us. I look forward to hearing about your successes when you return to homecoming each fall. And then finally, graduates, continue the race. Continue the race to excellence. Graduates, the world is changing in so many ways. I charge you to strive each day toward excellence in all that you do. As I have shared across the campus my vision for the future of Bowie State University that is based on the premise that we as a community of learners must, must continually strive to learn and strive to better ourselves if we are to keep pace with the changing society, to meet the growing demands of the workforce and to enrich our own minds. 
graduates, the future belongs to those who seek enlightenment and have a curiosity and appreciation about this world and about others. The future belongs to those who strive to light the way to inspire others. The future belongs to those who ask, what more can I do with each day? Graduates accept nothing less than your best, for mediocrity is the enemy of innovation and creativity and the gateway to complacency. The future is yours. Your families, friends, professors, and administrators have done their part. Graduates, I leave with you these four charges. One, remember your history first and foremost. Two, remember your sense of purpose. Three, remember that BSU is home, your alma mater, and continually to strive for excellence. It is now that time for us to recognize you. Let us all now stand and applaud our graduates. of 2018, class of 2018, our newest alumni. You may now be seated. You are indeed our newest alumni, and it is the alumni of an institution that must ensure the ongoing success of that institution through its support both materially and physically. We are proud of the alumni of Bowie State University, and we are so pleased to give special recognition to a very special group of alumni who are gathered here today. I want you to recognize the 50th reunion class of 1968 to Bowie State University in a class of 1968, would you please stand up to be recognized? Thank you, class of 1968, for being here today. These are very special people who, back in 1968, stood tall and fought for injustices. If you know your history, which I hope you do, 1968 was an incredible, tragic year in our history. And these are young men, these are men and women who stood tall and fought against injustices. Please recognize again the class of 1968. To officially induct the class of 2018 into the Bowie State University Alumni Association, alumnus Mr. Ricardo Mitchell, president of the National Alumni Association, will now come and initiate the right of induction to our most recent alumni, Mr. Mitchell. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Dr. Bro. First gentleman, Melvin Bro, Esquire. Distinguished platform guests, faculty, administrators, parents, friends, the class of 1968, and of course, the 2018 graduating class of Bowie State University. Today, I'm joined by members of the executive board and the board of directors. And on their behalf, I bring you greetings as the newest 
alumni of our beloved institution. My task today is to formally induct you into the Bowie State University National Alumni Association and offer you free membership for one year in the association. So just for a quick moment, I'd like everybody to, to just relax for a second and remember your alma mater. Remember her times and your times with her. So graduating class, would you please rise and repeat after me our alma mater pledge. We, the graduates of Bowie State University, come on, you can do better than that. Let me hear it again. We, the graduates of Bowie State University, pledge to advance the mission and uphold the historical significance of this great institution. Therefore, we pledge to continue to grow intellectually, politically, socially, and spiritually. And we commit to support our alma mater financially. I couldn't quite hear that last thing, and we pledge to commit and support our alma mater financially. There you go. And we pledge our undying loyal to BSU. Congratulations, Bulldogs. Black and gold forever. Please be seated. Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, I'm not sure everyone did hear that last line, so I want to underscore what Mr. Mitchell just said about giving back. And just to set the example, I'd like to announce at this time that our speaker, our dear illustrious alumna, to set the way and pave the way for you and lead has announced that she will start a new endowment at Bowie State University to give back to her alma mater. Please give her a round of applause. Thank you, Ms. Gibson, for giving back to your alma mater in so many ways through that wonderful speech, for your contributions throughout the years. You have given countless speeches on the campus and I know will contribute generously in the future to this endowment and to future causes. Thank you. We are very proud to have you as a distinguished alumna of Bowie State University. Thank you. We have now come to the closing of our program. And so it's fitting at this time that we stand to sing our alma mater, followed by the retiring of the colors. Please stand.
We will now retire the colors. Right turn, mark. Forward, mark. Color guard, halt. Retreat. The colors. Come on, About face. Forward, mark. Left. Left. Right turn, mark. Forward, mark. Left. Audience, please take your seats and remain seated for the recessional.